Hello everybody and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Bow Only Challenge, the finale. It's time for us to finally storm into Hyrule Castle for the second time and take on Ganon. And this is not a teleport arrow so I'm not sure why I fired one but I actually made it pretty far into there. You know, that'd actually be kind of funny if, like, you could shoot an arrow perfectly into the sanctum where he is and just take him out from there. Now, we've already been in Hyrule Castle, and there is a straight path to Gan that you could take, but I'm gonna make my own path. Because, well, we're directly... Well, not really directly, but pretty much right in front of Hyrule Castle. I'm going to end up getting caught by some guardians. Let's see. All it takes is one shot. I've actually gotten a lot better with the bow since I've done this challenge, though, because I never really used a bow all that much in the main game when I normally would play, because I wasn't that great with it. But... And since I've started this challenge, I've actually gotten, like, way better with it. Since I want to play the regular game, I rarely go in for melee attacks against opponents. Because, realistically, if you don't have to get close to risk the damage, why get close? And with something like shock arrows, you can usually knock out enemy opponents, like, other bows and their weapons and keep them from actually hitting you. Alright, let me go ahead and switch back to my normal armor because it's going to be useful and get you to stop bothering me. Probably should just like go inside, but you know. That's not a big deal at the moment. We can, we can just like shoot him down. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that might be... Okay, no, I just missed. This isn't good. Because I've got two of them shooting at me now. And I'm on fire. Okay, just... Take it. That couldn't have been more perfect timing. Thank you, Daruk. For knocking them down. Stop bothering me. The only thing is, I gotta. I no longer have that power because I just got it back and I just wore it all the way back down. Alright. Now we're just about ready to take on the fight with Ganon. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wait for my abilities to recharge. Just so we have a better shot at this. I'll be right back. Alright, now that we're back, time to take on Ganon. Now that we've defeated all of his other foes, what took out the champions, it's time to take him on. So let's do this.
Calamity Ganon, Scourge of Hyrule Castle. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge! This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail! That was a lot of damage. Now, if you're wondering what, why it seemed like something was supposed to happen there, is normally if you have the Master Sword, Link will pull that out. But, you know, we didn't get the Master Sword. I haven't even been to the Lost Woods yet because we don't need it. Like, at all. So why bother going and grab something we don't need, right? I mean, even then I still couldn't even collect the Master Sword because you need to have at least... At least 13 hearts in order to collect it. I only have like nine, uh, so yeah, that's a problem. Anyway, well, once you do so much damage to him, he goes into this mode, which ironically, this is also what one of the other ones did. I forget, uh, it was uh, Fire Blight Ganon, where he went into this mode where you cannot hit him, so you have to wait for him to attack. And then it's have to hit him, but... Okay, I'm just getting shot now. Why do you get to have a gun? Why can't I have a gun? A gun would be way better than a bow in this situation, honestly. Uh, Alright. Should probably switch arrows. Yeah, because that's doing way more damage. Rather than just like my normal crappy arrows. Like, yeah, let me use normal wooden arrows versus these ancient ones that do, like, almost three times the damage. Now, the biggest problem you might have with Calamity Ganon is when he's in this mode, because... Well, there's only, like, so many ways you can hit him. Because, like, as you see when I did the Flurry Rush there, if you have a sword, you can just dodge, jump in, and just hit him a bunch and rack up the damage. Especially if you have the Master Sword fully powered, which you will have it in this fight. I and mean, you don't have to worry about the Trial of the Sword. But, with a bow, you have to be more careful about it because you can only attack him when he's attacking you because you'll see like it fades off whenever he attacks. Or wait for something like this so you can block it, throw it back at him, and then attack him while his guard's down. He's only got like a very slim amount of health, so yeah. finishing you off.
I win. You can suck it, Ganon. Because I'm better than you, and I only have a bow. I don't even need the sword that seals the darkness. Because I'm better than you. Not really. Uh, if you put me and Ganon in a fight, I would be dead in like the first 30 seconds. I probably wouldn't even make it that long, honestly. Ganon. Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. I entrust you with the Bow of Light, a powerful weapon in the face of evil. Link. You may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power, or all of your memories. But courage need not be remembered, for it is never forgotten. Okay, now Ganon is actually an, a very easy fight. All you need to do is wait, basically, that's really it. When Zelda is done talking, it's basically just kind of sitting around waiting, and you do have the Bow of Light, and actually, and I know I like to talk about my first playthrough all the time, but, you know, in my first playthrough, I just used normal arrows until I ran out and realized I had to switch the Bow of Light, but ancient arrows work just as well and um there's something I actually was thinking about but quickly disproved myself and my 100% file is I decided to face getting again thinking like what if this was a sword only challenge I wasn't allowed to use bows or shields this game would actually still be just as beatable because the master sword is actually pretty powerful and upgrading it with the sword of the trial the trial of the sword challenge would actually make it a lot more effective so, there wouldn't be much to worry about if you were just doing a melee weapon only with no shield or bow. But, you're able to use ancient arrows that can also take down Dark Beat Scanning, and if you have the Master Sword and you're at full power, you can also use the Sword Beam to take it, these out. But, I'm out of ancient arrows, so I gotta switch to the Bow of Light. And this thing is powerful! Like, you could shoot this thing so far it is amazing the only thing is you don't get access to it like seriously why couldn't we have gotten something like this if you 100% the game because I have and I would have happily accepted the bow of light as a 100% challenge victory because that would have been cool but no it's just an end game thing you get nothing for 100% and I hate it Because, like, I still 100% of this game, even after seeing the completionist video, knowing I wouldn't get anything. But at the same time, I was also at 90% completion, so I finished it anyway. And I hated it. Well, kind of forgot to explain the fight, but yeah. Uh, Zelda does it fairly well, just shoot, like, the glowing points when she weakens them. There's, like, seven in total. But time to take down Ganon. Charge! Right, let's see, and I win. I also just realized that half of this video is basically cutscene, so I'm gonna shut up again.
Destroy Ganon. Complete. Keeping watch over you all this time. I witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you all these many years. Thank you, Lord. May I ask, do you really remember me? And that was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, a few things I would like to say is I do know I technically lost the challenge both in the first episode, which doesn't really help my case considering the fact literally in the first episode I failed. And I also technically failed at Death Mountain, but I tried literally everything and I wanted to finish up the Four Divine Beasts. But there were ways around these things that I will admit. The only thing is, is I didn't know how to get around them at the time. And, well, in the first episode, that mistake, that is on me. Technically, I did fail, yes. But in Death Mountain, the way to get around that is, well, you simply can't beat the Divine Beast. So you wouldn't be able to get Daruk's protection. You would be able to get the other three, no problem, as there was no reason for me to have to use a sword in that whole encounter. The only problem is, is to beat Ganon is then you would ha then have to take on Fireblight Ganon in Hyrule Castle, which wouldn't be too difficult, but at the same time I also wanted to show off all four Divine Beasts, so I don't technically count that as a penalty, and I did debate going halfway through the challenge, and actually just being allowed to use sword because I probably would have gotten the master sword and done the trial of the sword if I did but I wanted to finish it out of the principle because I started the challenge and I had to finish it I probably will do this again and find out more and just continue enjoying this game because I really do enjoy it because it's a lot of fun to just watch and enjoy because I love playing this game I pick it up a good like a lot every now and again so it's just nice to be able to just jump back in and have a different playthrough because you don't know what type of weapons you're gonna get you don't know what sh like you can go after any of the divine beasts and I do realize that all the divine beast quests are basically the same thing but you get different abilities, so you can fight things in different ways. And having to fight all of the Divine Beasts in different ways was actually fairly challenging. Because, like I said when I was... Like I said at the beginning of this episode, right around there, I do believe. I've basically got no long... I've got no short-term memory. But, like I said, I am, I've never been one to use a bow unless it was absolutely necessary. I always went in with a sword and a shield, like playing in the in the regular game I never really ha I had a bow equipped when it came down to a fight because I didn't want to accidentally like try to get a bow out when I could just hit the wrong button trying to throw a weapon so I usually didn't keep them equipped now a bow is usually my go-to in any situation when I play the game now if I have a bow and I got plenty of arrows that's what I'm going to use I even went ahead and grinded up to get a bunch of arrows in my main file because I like to go in and just mess around and finish collecting like smaller stuff that I don't have because in that game I do have 100% but I do have 
two armor sets that I have completed, but I don't have them fully upgraded yet. And that's like the one thing I'm trying to finish because one of them is the Twilight set, so that one you get from the Amiibo, which I got from the, the Super Smash Bros. Link Amiibo, so that wasn't a big deal. That one I'm not super worried about, I still want to upgrade. And the only other one is the Sheikah one that I'm trying to upgrade, but you know, this is just kind of gone into a rant of like me having 100% 100% of the game, but not technically having that 100%. But we have a small cutscene again. Looks like they're all watching over us as we travel around through Hyrule. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I honestly really enjoyed it because it was a lot of fun to actually try and get through. As well as pull like brought out a lot of really tough challenges that I didn't think would be there. But that's the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later. We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Baruta looks like it stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mitha's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart. That if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that.